Welcome back to the Scottabyte channel and this is Scott. Today I want to talk about my Incus migration from LexD. And in my last tutorial, Convert LexD Server to Incus, we converted my LexD desktop instance to Incus. And my desktop instance I normally use just for testing or sometimes for tutorials on the channel. So that was really the maiden voyage into going from LexD to an Incas server. So this time I convert both of my production LexD servers, VMS Mist and VMS Rain, over to Incas. And those are the two Minis Forum mini PCs that I've featured on the channel before. And you, if you haven't seen that, you might want to look at my video entitled cheap self-hosting server. So I decided that after three years of discussing LexD, this might be a great time to fork the channel over to Incus and go from there. I figure that if LexD can fork over to Incus, well then certainly Scottabyte can fork over to Incus as well. So I was waiting for Lex Console by Penning Labs, the product that Matthew Penning created, to advance a bit more. Lex Console is at 0.4.5 now, and they fixed a couple of little issues that um, caused concern on my part. And I have a tutorial on it entitled Lex Console, the new LexD dashboard. And in fact, I might be doing an update for that one in the near future as well. But Lex Console is basically a GUI that can manage both uh, LexD servers as well as Incas servers. However, unfortunately, um, you, we can't manage the Incas servers on LexD dashboard. So I'm happy with Incas and I think it makes for the best and most lightweight private cloud implementation. So let's go upgrade both of my production servers from LexD to Incas. Here I am on VMS Miss, the first of my two production servers, and we're getting ready to update from LexD to Incas. First thing I'm going to do is a sudo su to make myself super user, and then that way I will have um, root privileges and not have to worry about sudo commands. So the first thing I'm going to do is do a make dir to create the keyrings directory if it does not already exist. Uh, the next thing that I'm going to do is to download the keys to install Incas with a curl command. The next thing I'm going to do is copy the repository information along with those keys and enter that into the repository database. Next, I'm going to do an apt update and then a sudo apt install. Actually, I don't need to do a sudo here, do I? I do an apt install incus dash y and it will go ahead and install incus. Now the next step is I'm going to go ahead and log off of the root account and back to the Scott account. And now that I'm back here at the Scott account on VMS Mist, I'm going to do a sudo user mod dash a capital G Incas dash admin Scott adding Scott to the Incas admin group and I'm going to do a new GRP Incas admin and then I should be in that group so we can do a groups command and there I am in the Incas admin group and I'm ready to do the upgrade. In order to do the upgrade I simply enter the sudo lexd-2-incas command and it goes ahead and initiates the upgrade and it says that it can't use the core trust password which in the last video I accomplished or I saw the same issue 
and so uh, we have to go ahead and remove that and so I can say Lexi config unset core dot trust under bar password and it goes ahead and removes that and now we'll try the Lexd to Incas again and this time it works and I can say yes go ahead and proceed this time notice that the source version is 5.20 for the Lexd server and now Incas has been upgraded as of about 11 hours ago on February 23rd to version 0 0.6 so I'll go ahead and say yes proceed with the migration it stops the LexD server and it will go ahead and begin the migration Now that the migration is complete, I have the option to uninstall the LexD server, which I'll go ahead and say yes. Now if I perform an Incas list, you can see that all of my containers are up and running. If I scroll up, you can see that they all have their IP addresses as well, so everything seems to have been properly migrated. Here we are on LexD dashboard, and LexD dashboard does not support Inca servers. So if I click on VMS Mist, it says that there's zero containers and zero virtual machines up and running. So I'm going to go back to host, and I'm going to go ahead and delete that VMS Mist server entry on LexD dashboard. Now I move over to Lex console and I click on VMS Mist and this VMS Mist is in here and notes all 24 containers are up and running and since I already had a trust in place for uh, VMS Mist on the LexD side that also was migrated over as part of the process if I go look at my profiles, you can see that all my profiles are in place as well. So that migration seemed to work just fine. So now let's log off of VMS Mist and let's go ahead and looks like I'm a couple levels deep there. Going back to Mondo here, I'm going to do an SSH over to VMS Rain. Although I didn't mention it last time, it's a good idea to perform all of your updates before we do this install. So I'll go ahead and do a sudo apt update, ampersand, ampersand, sudo apt upgrade, dash y. Put my sudo password in, and it will go ahead and take these 28 updates that are mentioned right here. It looks like there's a newer version of the kernel for VMS Rain, and at this point in time I should probably reboot, but I'll go ahead and reboot after my migration. So probably the first thing that we want to do is a Lexi list just to see everything that we have running on VMS Rain. And as you see, we have quite a number of containers indicated here, and we have a couple of virtual machines. We have a um, desktop virtual machine and we have a home assistant virtual machine and we also have a Windows 11 virtual machine and so that makes this a little bit more complex than the last migration of VMS Mist. So I'm going to go ahead and perform a sudo su and move over to the root account and then just like the last time on VMS Mist, I'm going to go ahead and create the keyrings folder if it does not currently exist. Then I'm going to download the keys for Incas with the curl command. And then I'm going to go ahead and update the repositories on VMS Rain to include the repository for Incas and also the keys that we just updated. And then I'm going to do an apt update. 
And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and do an exit to go back to the main account. And we are ready to install Incus. To install Incus, we're going to do a sudo apt install Incus, and we're putting the dash Y to avoid being prompted. And I realize that I got that kernel warning again, but we'll go ahead and reboot at the conclusion of this. So the first thing I want to do here is I want to do a sudo user mod dash A capital G Incus dash admin Scott to put Scott into the Incus admin group. The next thing that I want to do is a new grp Incus dash admin which goes ahead and puts me in that group right now. Uh, otherwise, I could have logged out and logged back in. I can do a groups command to demonstrate that I am in fact in the Incus admin group and you can see it here listed as the first group. And now we're ready to do the migration. So let's go ahead and do a sudo lexd to Incus. And again, we got the same error about the core trust password that I did on VMS Mist and also on the previous video on Mondo when I migrated it. So I'm going to do a lexc config. If I can spell here, lexc config unset and it's core dot trust underbar password. And then we go ahead and initiate the sudo lexd to incus again. And this time it's going to go ahead and work. And again, our source version of lexd was 5.20. And our new version as of 11 hours ago on incus is version 0 0.6. So we're going to go ahead and proceed with that migration. Now that the migration is completed, it gives me an option to uninstall the LexD package and I'm going to go ahead and say yes. Now let's go ahead and list out all of our containers with an Incus list on BMS Rain. And there we go, we have everything listed. Now you notice that Win11 is actually stopped and not started and it was previously started. The reason that the Windows 11 VM did not start correctly is if you followed my video on creating a LexD Windows 11 VM, it used a different audio device than is available under Incus. So I'm going to go ahead and do an Incus config set win11 raw.qemu and then set this device over to the spice driver. And now that I've done this, I should be able to do an incus start on win11 dash dash console equals VGA and it should start up correctly. And there we're getting our window. There's our Zabli splash screen, not our LexD splash screen because that's changed and Windows has begun to boot. And as you can see, my Windows 11 VM is up and running and I could go ahead and log on if I want to, but I'm just gonna go ahead and exit the remote viewer and we're going to go ahead and do another Incus list. And you will see here that Windows 11 is up and running. Now it does not give me an IP address. And the reason for that is because I created my Windows 11 LexD VM in very early time. And it does not have the bits in here to recognize the IP address. But I plan to do a future video on how to create an Incus um, Windows 11 VM. So now that I've rebooted both VMS Rain and VMS Mist because of the kernel updates, I'm now back here at LexD Dashboard and I'm going to go ahead and click on VMS Rain 
And I remind you that LexD dashboard does not support Incas and that's why we're not seeing any containers here. So I'm going to go back to the host level and I'm going to go ahead and delete VMS Rain from here. And now the only two systems I have being managed by LexD dashboard are VMS Fog and VMS Cloud and both of those are QNAP NAS systems. And so for right now QNAP NAS does not support Incas. So moving over here to Lex Console, I'm able to click now on VMS Rain. And when I click on VMS Rain, of course, it's going to have me log back in. So I'll go ahead and log back into Lex Console. I rebooted the machine that it was running on. You can see that it's got 29 containers and three virtual machines. If we click on our 29 containers, here they all are and they all have IP addresses. Um, that's only the first screen. We've got a second screen and we also have a third screen. So now if we go back up here to the top and go over to virtual machines, I have my desktop virtual machine. I have my home assistant virtual machine and my Windows 11. And as previously mentioned, it's not logging the IP address, but that virtual machine is up and running and we tested it previously. So as of now, I have my complete production environment migrated over to Incas and both Mondo, uh, VMS Rain and VMS Mist are all running Incas version 0.6, which is the current production version as of about 12 hours ago now. So in summary, in this tutorial, we converted both of my mini PC LexD servers to Incas successfully. VMS Rain hosted more than one storage pool and one Windows 11 LexD VM, and the conversion of both of those went flawlessly. So LexD Dashboard manages LexD servers only and not Incas servers. And so I discovered that my existing Lex console management authorizations even carried over as part of that migration and I didn't have to reauthorize them as Incas servers to Lex console. And then watch my Lex console, the new LexD dashboard to install and configure the new GUI interface by penning labs in order to manage your Incas instances. So anyway, that's it for today. Please subscribe and like the channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell and we'll see you next time.